going on guys? It's Barry from the Yamar Academy. You ever wanted to pick stuff up at the job site? Well today we're going to give you the ability to. We're going to put a thumb on our SV40. Alright guys, so first step is we got to pull this 14 millimeter nut and bolt out. Got my 14 millimeter socket and wrench. So now that the bolt is out, we can go ahead and knock this pin out. I got my hammer and I got my pin driver. Go ahead and just grab it, pull it on out. All right, so this pin here will be discarded. You will receive it with the kit. You got another pin, so we'll go ahead and use that one. Remember, you don't need this one once we get the pin out. All right, guys, so now that we got the stick pin out, go ahead and move your thumb into place. This is the pin that you will replace that stick pin with. As you can see, it's a lot longer to compensate for the added distance with the thumb. Also, on this, your kit will come with two spacers. Once you get the thumb bracket on, you'll figure out which size spacer you need and you'll put it on this outside over here. With that new pin that I did talk about you get with the kit, make sure you go ahead and throw a quick coat of lube on it to aid in getting it into the hole where it needs to go and lined up. One thing to remember when you put your pin back in, you've got these oil ports here and then you've got your bolt hole here. So you wanna make sure you put the bolt hole in on this side over here so you can line it back up and put your bolt back in. So let's go ahead and get it put on. You're gonna need an assistant to help with this. So John. All right guys, so now that we've got it, the pin lined up, we take our bolt, set it in here from the bottom side here. Uh, it's easiest if you have your partner hold the thumb up. Now that it's in, we can go ahead and let the thumb back down. What we need to do now is we've got to put the cylinder in. So the cylinder will go from here down to the thumb itself. Once again, same thing with the bolt hole in your pin. You want to make sure it goes back to the back side so you can secure it. All right, so now that we put the bolt in, we're going to put it from the bottom to the top. Put my nut on top and we'll go ahead and tighten it down once we're done. All right, so now that you got your cylinder extended, go ahead, put your pin in. Once again, make sure that your bolt hole goes to the outside. All right guys, so now we got our cylinder on, we got to pull this fitting here, the fitting underneath our block here, and 
put additional fittings in and make sure you're using pipe sealant. All right, so once you get it done, make sure you tighten up the jam nut here that holds the fitting into the cylinder. Your hose connected to your 90 degree fitting attached to your cylinder and the fitting attached to your block on the hydraulic side of it. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So now we've got the hoses on, we wanna turn on our blocks. So to do this, just turn these in the opposite direction they are now. All right, so now that we got them on, what we wanna do is we gotta get somebody in the machine and exercise the thumb to get the air pushed out of the system. All right, there you have it guys. Quick, simple, easy steps to install your thumb. Until next time, I'll see you at the MR Academy.